this week, we are going to examine the apprenticeship system in more detail. We are looking at the apprenticeship system in the British colonized Caribbean. And in order to give you this information, my sources will be um, from Freedoms One, Caribbean Emancipation, Ethnicities and Nationhood by Hilary Beckles and Vereen Shepherd. And we are also looking at Caribbean History for CSEC by Kevin Baldosing and Radhika Mahes. Now, if we look at apprenticeship in the British colonized Caribbean, what we would find is that on the whole, the British planters in Jamaica, in Trinidad, and in colonial Guyana, which was then British Guyana, were anxious that if the apprenticeship system were not established, then the ex-slaves, or what we would now call the apprentices, would desert the estates and settle on large tracts of uncultivated land that existed. And as a result of them doing that, that would ruin the sugar industry, on which the class and the racial domination was largely based. Now, recognize the countries that were worried. You had Jamaica, you had Trinidad, and you had colonial Guyana, or what was then known as British Guiana. Those were the large territories within the Caribbean. Those were the ones who had genuine fears that the persons would leave that the apprentices would leave the plantation and that these same apprentices would go and settle in any other area except for the plantation, establishing themselves outside. Now you can ask, were these fears founded? Were they unfounded? Were these fears such that we would have seen a mass exodus of persons from the plantation? Would the apprentices or the ex-slaves, as they were called then, be able to help themselves if they left the plantation? These were all questions that were going through the minds of the planters. These are all questions that were also going through the minds of the apprentices because they believed that they should be able to leave and to go and establish themselves on the outskirts of the plantation. Now, we also need to recognize that there were two colonies that did not implement the apprenticeship system. These colonies were Antigua and Bermuda. Now, what was in contrast or what is in contrast here is that the landowners in these territories believed that they had effective control over the land space and workforce that was available in the colony. If you think about today, Trinidad, Guyana, and Jamaica are large territories. Antigua and Bermuda are smaller territories. So we're in the fears of the larger territories came into focus the smaller territories like Antigua and Bermuda, for example, decided we're not going to have this apprenticeship system because these people are not going anywhere. They're going to stay on the plantation and they are going to continue to work for us because where else are they going to go? Now, what is interesting is countries like Barbados, St. Vincent, Grenada, um, and we continue up the chain. They did not see it fit to do away with apprenticeship. They still insisted that the apprenticeship system must continue. Now, we were talking about Antigua and Bermuda and reasons why they didn't. So let's look at that a little more. Antiguan landowners argued that it was more economical to go straight for complete emancipation from slavery. One advocate of complete emancipation was Samuel Otto Berger, and he noted that free labor 
would cost a third less than enslaved labor. The deciding factor in this case was that Antigua did not have large areas of uncultivated land on which freed people could settle. Also, landowners there did not fear the possibility of workers immigrating from the colony. So at the beginning of the process of apprenticeship, you had two contrasting views. The persons who were in the larger territories feared that the apprentices or the ex-slaves would leave the plantation and run. Settling on the all of the crown land that was available on uncultivated land. Whereas now, in contrast to that, you had countries like Antigua and Bermuda who decided, no, 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 we are going to ensure that our people stay in. We don't have the fear that they're going to immigrate. We have treated them well. We are in a situation where they will stay on the plantation, work for us. And as they continue to work for us, we will continue to pay them the necessary wages that they need. So at this point in time for apprenticeship, you had now two situations, two varying situations that existed. Remember, Antigua, Bermuda, those were the two countries that did not get involved in the apprenticeship aspect and went straight into emancipation. Whereas all of the other British colonized countries kept the process of apprenticeship that four to six years that would have been outlined in the Emancipation Act.